This one follows our main character, Viv. Viv? Wow, I can't speak. Hey everybody, my name is Kelsey and we're about to get very, very nerdy with some hyped books I need to read. So I was semi-inspired by Tori at a Novel Life who did a video similar to this not too long ago. I'll leave it linked down below. I was also inspired a little bit by a, the new vlog series I've got going on on this channel, which is to read hyped books and series that I am interested in. So I thought I would go down the rabbit hole and see what kinds of things are super hyped online, at least in my circles, as far as books and series go, and make a little bit of a TBR. Uh, some of these are definitely on the list of books to read for that vlog series. Some of these are just books that I that sound interesting. Let me know if there's anything in here that you have read and if there's a hype series that you think I would enjoy, hype series and or book that you think I would enjoy, we'll leave it linked down below. But I've got 10 books and or series to talk about today. So let's just dive in. The very first series, let's say that's on this list, is the Daughter Smoke and Bone series by Lady Taylor. This is a trilogy. I haven't read anything. That's not true. I've read one book by Lady Taylor. I read Strange the Dreamer, which is the first new duology, which I still haven't finished that duology. But I really remember really enjoying that book specifically. And this one is really hyped. And I do actually, if I remember correctly, have the audiobooks of this on Audible for the entire trilogy. So this is one of those kind of YA series that every fantasy reader has read except for me. So I don't even fully know what this series is about. Um, we have it's fantastical. We have a main character who m goes through doors. I don't know it's very like whimsical as far as the synopsis goes but I really enjoyed this author's writing from the one book I've read and I don't know I just there's something about this trilogy that is calling to me so and it's a lot of people's favorites so I don't know I'm nervous about it because I'm afraid I might be coming to it later than a lot of people who have really enjoyed it are but I'm willing to give it a shot it sounds interesting it's fantastical there's doors there's humans and not humans um, we follow a main character whose hair quite literally grows out of her head blue, which I am curious about. And I don't know. She's trying to figure out who she is. And I love that kind of plot line. Not very descriptive on this one, but that's one that I'm definitely interested in. And then we have Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry, Baldry which is actually a duology, I believe, because there's one that says something about bookshops which is the second one but it's also maybe a prequel I don't know but primarily just this one this one kind of started I want to say the whole cozy fantasy thing trend that was going on last year everyone seems to really really enjoy this it's a super low stakes high fantasy this one follows our main character Viv who is a battle weary orc um, and she's hanging up her axe and just wants to open up the first ever coffee shop in this city. But um, no one seems to know what coffee actually is. So it's her starting the shop and just trying to like live a cozy life. She hires somebody to work with her. I don't know who they are. It doesn't say in the synopsis. I do know it's a romance. I'm assuming a female, female romance. And... I'm just curious about this because it gets, again, super cozy. It's fantastical, but low stakes. So that it's just a fun ride. And I've heard that cozy fantasy is really good for people who are just starting out fantasy, especially high fantasy, and maybe don't know if it's for them or not. So this, I don't know, there's just something about this one. I've seen it literally everywhere. A lot of people really, really enjoy it. And I want to know what the hype's about. So it's on this list. The next one is a very recent addition, and that is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, the first in the Wayfarer series, so basically the entire Wayfarer series, by Jeff Becky Chambers. I believe this is a trilogy. I've heard a lot of 
I've heard this name and I've heard this series pop up a bunch with some of my fantasy sci-fi people that I follow. I'm not the biggest sci-fi fan. I mean, I enjoy a good sci-fi, don't get me wrong, but I'm not usually, that's not usually the genre that I gravitate towards first. And I don't remember exactly what it was, but I was watching T-Books and Tasman. I'll leave their channel down below. And I've been watching them for quite a while, but they have kind of revamped their channel or they've come back to their channel recently. And they were talking about the series and how much they loved it. And I can't remember what it was, but something they said in, in their video about it made me go, okay, now I'm interested. And I can't for the life of me remember what it is that was interesting about this. But it's basically like a series, if I remember correctly, of standalone-esque stories about a group going through the the stars and the galaxies and the adventures they get on. So the first one specifically follows our main character, Rosemary, who is trying to get away from some past and all she wants is to basically literally leave her past behind her. And so she joins the crew of the Wayfarer um, in hopes of just kind of like hiding in the background. But it's about this group kind of coming together in the midst of craziness that's going on in the galaxy as they like take jobs that may be life-threatening and Rosemary was like I'm not entirely sure that I that's what I signed up for but here we are and so it's really about like this core group becoming like a found family at least in the first one I don't know what the others are about but there's just something about this that sounds interesting and then like I said there was something that Tasman said and I cannot remember what it is and that's gonna drive me nuts but this is super hyped I mean I've heard every person who reads sci-fi in some capacity has read this book or has read this author and I want to know what it's about so this is definitely one that I think I will do a video on this trilogy is just because I'm so curious about her writing why everyone's in love with it actually there's four now I lied although yeah there's four I lied there's not three there's now four according to Goodreads so I don't know I just want to know you know I just want to know okay the next one is purely based on the experience I've had with another book by this author and that is the Care of All series by Stephanie Garber I am not the biggest fan of circus books I have no problem with circus books but it's not like a location or plot device or anything like that that I gravitate towards. However, I read the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy by this author and really enjoyed it. And now I'm curious about this one. So this one is another one that's kind of a YA staple on the book internet. And a lot of people really, really enjoy it. So I don't know if I'm coming at it with a little bit of an older lens, but I'm curious about it now that I've read her other trilogy and really enjoyed it. So we'll see. I believe it, it like follows two sisters who get involved in this magical circus of sorts. I also think there's a connection world building wise to Once Upon a Broken Heart as far as like the fates go, which are characters from Once Upon a Broken Heart. And I'm fe I feel like they show up in this one. I don't think it's a big plot thing, but... And I could be totally wrong about this, but I swear there's a connection between the worlds in the, these two series. So I don't know. It's, I believe, a trilogy as well. And it might not be for me. I might be, like I said, coming at it a little too old for these books. And if I had read them when I was younger or when I first started YouTube or something like that, then maybe, maybe they would have been for me. But I really want to give it a shot. So this one is, this is purely because the author and not the plot. Another one that I've seen everywhere um, is an old kind of classic book, which is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. This is an author I've never read anything from. Um, and Rebecca is a story that does and it doesn't interest me. It's a thriller. It's an older thriller. And it's one that I've seen a ton of people really enjoy. I know there's a movie that Netflix put out a movie adaption not too long ago so it kind of got a revamp of popularity but there's something about the plot that I'm like I need answers like this is intriguing enough that I think 
reading it, not watching it, but reading it will be the way to go because then I can decide if the movie is for me. This one I know follows our main character who I believe is unnamed and she gets married to this man who is a widow and she comes to their house and discovers that his first wife, Rebecca, was has her her fingerprints all over but there's some suspicious stuff and no one is talking about this wife so like did he kill her is she a ghost is she even dead like I don't know but it's giving me kind of Jane Eyre vibes a little bit as far as like the gothicness of it so there's something about this story that I keep being like I'm not interested in that I'm not interested in that but there's something that I just need to know like I've heard some people talk about this story and the plot and I don't know if the writing is going to be for me but I just need to know what happens in this book so this one is purely intrigue the next one is the only one that I actually physically own which is Bride by Allie Hazelwood now this one is super popular especially right now because it just came out I want to say it came out in March maybe February um, and this one is super hyped because this author has only written contemporary before and this is her first step into a fantastical world. I've talked about it a little bit on this channel but it basically follows two main characters. One of them is a vampire, one of them is a were, which is basically a werewolf, and they are kind of forced into this marriage of convenience. Forced might be a long word but um, there's an alliance that, that they need to create between the wares and the vampires and she's a vampire he's aware her father I think runs the vampires or no he's a camp councilman and she is just like very happy to live on the outskirts and hide behind everybody else but she's called on to fulfill this alliance between the wares and the vampires and it's their relationship um I've heard it's a step into the Omega Verse vibes which I don't really know what that means like I've googled it and I'm still kind of confused so I don't know I've heard that I've heard very mixed things I've heard people who rave about this book and then I've heard fantasy readers go I'm not a fan of this I've heard people who loved her other books go I'm not a fan of this I don't know I'm not going in expecting the highest of fantasy elements I'm expecting the chemistry that I've read from her previous books because I have read all of her stem romances not the short stories, which I, which I do need to read, but all of the full-length stem note romances. And then I do also have her YA book, Checkmate, Check and Mate. But I'm curious about this as far as her first step into the fantasy world. And because there's so many mixed reviews about this, I am super curious. But it's new, and I think that's why it's so hyped. But it's also, also an author that a lot of people have read from. The next one is The Deal, and this is by Elle Kennedy. I have an ebook of this from a long like I bought this ebook for free years and years and years and years ago um so it's not a new book but it has gotten new covers and I think this is the first in a series and it takes place on a college campus it's a contemporary romance um it's supposed to be super smutty and it's got a resurgence because of book talk I believe and so this is one I don't really remember a lot about the plot of this one but I do remember it being on my list for a long time so this is a deal between a girl named Hannah and a guy named Garrett it does take place on a college campus um the series is called off campus and basically Hannah finally likes somebody but she is not versed in the ways of sex and seduction and so she basically agrees to tutor Garrett who is um on the hockey team and wants to be a professional hockey player but his GPA is real bad and so he needs a tutor and he's like kind of a bad boy on campus so she agrees to tutor him if he goes on like pretend dates or it says a pretend date but I'm assuming it's gonna be more than one and kind of like helps her like educates her on the art of seduction so that she can get the guy that she has a crush on obviously it's probably going to be a romance between the two of them it's uh, expecting it to be super smutty just based on what i've heard but this book specifically and i think it's because it's the first in this series is one that i've heard a ton about but i've also just heard a lot about this series as a whole but i've had this on my tbr and i've had this on my kindle since before I even got a Kindle, I think. Uh, so it's been a long time. Um, like I had the Kindle app on my phone way before I ever got a physical Kindle. 
And I think it was just one of those free ebooks when she was just starting out that I picked up and never read. So this is definitely one that I need to get to. That's not like I'm saying. Like I had it before it was cool, which is kind of true, but I haven't really given it a second thought until it kind of got a little hyped. So with certain circles, like it's definitely hyped in like the romance community. So that's one that I definitely want to read. Another one is Guild by Raven Kennedy. This is the start of a trilogy. No, it's more than a trilogy, I think. Oh yeah, there's, oh goodness, there's at least five books and a sixth one coming out this year. So it's, it's a long series, but it's a King Midas-ish retelling. Our main character is entirely made out of gold, I think, and, or is gold plated in some way, but she is in a cage and I'm the woman he gold touched to show everyone that I belong to him. That's what it was. So she's basically stuck in this kingdom, but is okay being stuck. And I know that like Becca from Becca in the books read this. I really enjoyed it. And based on her thoughts, especially about the end, because she didn't say a whole lot. She didn't want to spoil a lot of this book. So I think there's a pretty big twist in this one. It's going to be, there's going to be some stuff. So I don't know what it is about this one. It kind of falls in the same vein in my head as From Blood and Ash and all those other kind of like fantasy romance books that are interesting in theory, but the first book starts one way and the rest of the series is completely different. So I don't know, but it's one that I've seen floating around for quite a while and there's just something about it that I'm very interested in. The next one is entirely because it's new, and that is Heartless Hunter by Kristen Cicerelli, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's the first in a new series. It just came out not too long ago. I, I believe it's called The Crimson Moth in the UK. It does have a different cover and title in the UK. It's one of those books. But America, it's called The um, Heartless Hunter. I do actually have a copy from Book of the Month on its way to me right now, so I will have a physical copy of this one. But I didn't think anything of it. I'd seen it everywhere, but I didn't really like, it was a lot of hype for it coming out, but I hadn't seen a lot of reviews yet. So I was like, okay. And I moved on. And then I saw people starting to review it and almost everyone who's reviewed it has loved it. And they compare it because it's like a witch, witch hunter, secret identity sort of story. And they compare it to Serpent and Dove, which the trilogy that in my opinion goes downhill, but the first book was very good. And I remember really enjoying the first book. So I don't know. I've, I've heard Ashley from a follow through fiction read and review this and really love it. So she really enjoyed it. I know Desi from Darling Desi really enjoyed it. And she has those like whimsical, fantastical books that I just, I love, like she has a lot of like love for tension and chemistry between characters. So now that there are reviews of it, I'm interested in it. And it's, like I said, it got so much hype before it even came out. And now that it's out, it's got a lot of hype too. So this is definitely one that is popular because it's it's a recent release, but I think it's going to be one kind of like fourth wing, not to the extent of fourth wing, like that kind of took over the world, but in the same vine, vein of fourth wing as like people really enjoy it now and are going to talk a lot about it now and then it might kind of die down and then when the second one comes out it's going to be talked about a lot but I just keep seeing it like literally all over my Instagram feed. And the last one that's on this list is also a trilogy and that is the Green Bone Saga trilogy by Fonda Lee, the first one being Jade City. I think I have this trilogy on my Audible as well. I, when they put out sales, they'll do sales on like entire series and this was just one of the ones that I picked up. And the reason I picked this one up, like it wasn't one that I found particularly interesting. Like it wasn't not interesting, but it wasn't like top of my TBR, but it's giving me similar ish vibes to the Chloe Gong series. Um, these violent delights that I really enjoyed this one. It says it is a gripping Godfather esque saga um, of intergenerational blood feuds, vicious politics, magic, and Kung Fu. And I know that it has to do with this Jade, which is uh, a rare, like magic, something about it is rare, rare magical. And it, I don't know. It's just like, it involves clans. It involves multiple 
big families fighting for the same thing, which again was giving me the same vibes as that, that Chloe Gong series. So I don't really know why all of a sudden this is now interesting to me, but I know it's giving me similar vibes to a series that I really enjoyed. So this is another one that I think I'm going to do a video on just because it's, it's, it's a finished trilogy. It's a trilogy, which means it's not very long. I feel like it's super hyped. It's one of those series that like isn't talked a lot about right now, but a lot of people consider it one of their favorites. And so if they talk about favorites, this one will come up or it's, it's one that's been read a bunch. So it's been out for a while. I believe the first one came out in 2017. So it's definitely been out for a while, but there's just something about it. I don't know. It's just, I'm interested now. And I don't know if there's going to be any sort of romance with it. I don't see romance as one of the subgenres, which is totally fine. Uh, but I just, I need to know what this is about. And it might be a martial fantasy in a sense with all of the feuding. And I'm okay with that. I don't know. I don't know what it is but I want to read it. And that's it. That is a look at some some of the top 10, I would say, on my hyped TBR. If you have read any of these books, please let me know what I should bump up to like the top of my TBR, because I definitely want to do some more, like I said, hyped vlogs. If there's a hyped series I didn't mention, but it's one that you loved or you think I will love, feel free to leave all of your recommendations down below. I do look at every single one of your recommendations and I do dive into them to see if there's something that I would enjoy. So I really appreciate you guys doing that. But let me know all of your thoughts down below. But if you like this video and I very much hope that you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you'd like to be part of this awesome growing family. I've also got all my social media down there as well as other fun bookish links. So don't forget to check all that out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.